Anton? I'm glad I met you out here, Mr. Mason. Well, he's so official, lad. Boy, the Sunday best. Mr. Mason, please. Uh, could I have a private word, sir? Why don't you just speak up? Morning. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm here to propose to your daughter. Oh, Tom, that's excellent news. Very good indeed. Go up to the house, boy. Wait in the living room. I'll send Dan to you. I need a normal, orderly life. Oh, it's you, Tom. Morning. Father said it was a merchant waiting to peddle his wares. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I've been cleaning the chickens out. Oh, would you like some breakfast? No, thank you. You haven't been down to see us for a while. Don't you like coming to visit us anymore? I've been in the loft. Rooting about, you know. Amazing what you find, Dan. Documents. Papers. Fishing rod. Cuddly toy. Eh? Oh, well, never mind, Tom. Anyway, why are you all dressed up so elegant? I shall be brief. As you know, I've been acquainted with your family since childhood. My late aunt, from whom I inherited the farm, was always on good terms with your parents. What's more, our estates are adjacent. As you know, my bull meadow borders directly on your birch. Sorry to interrupt, but you said my bull meadow. Yes, that's right. I'm sorry. The bull meadow belongs to my father and me. Yeah, I'm talking about the meadow between the marsh and the birchwood. Yes, I know. And since when do you own it? The deeds are quite clear. The meadow used to be in dispute, that's true. But now everyone knows it belongs to me. You're mistaken. My, my aunt's grandfather leased the meadow to your great-grandfather, free of charge, for an unlimited period of time. After a while, your family began to take it for granted, and eventually believed it belonged to them. And then, by order of the council... You've got to be joking. We own a piece of land for nearly 300 years, and suddenly we're told it's not ours. It's not the meadow, it's the injustice which concerns me. I can show you the papers. My aunt's grandfather was only doing him a favour. I don't care what proof you think you have. Oh, how dressed up you are. The bull meadow belongs to us. I don't want to quarrel. I'll make you a present of it. I don't need that meadow. I've always seen you as a good neighbour. A friend, even. And now you offer to give us our own land. What impudence! Am I interrupting anything? I uh, thought a celebration might be in order. 
Father, please tell Mr. Shelby who the bull meadow belongs to. My dear, it belongs to us. You know that. It's my property. And I'm going to prove it to you. Legally. Legally? Well, do if you like. But... <laughs> You're serious. A quarreler. Your whole family would always go to the law at the drop of a hat. There's no need to insult my family. At least none of us was ever charged with embezzlement. Like your uncle. Oh, very good. And your father, if my memory serves me right. Good day to you. You're welcome to bring an action against us. What an idiot. Still, you can't choose your neighbours, can you? And he even dared to make a proposal. What proposal? That's why he came today. To propose marriage to you. A proposal? To me? Filma. 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 Bring him back, Father. Please. I don't want to be left on the shelf. Sorry about the argument before. Maybe the bull meadow does belong to you. Well, the meadow's not important. It's the principle of the matter. Oh, yes, of course. Hasn't the shooting season started yet? Pheasant are abundant. Should be a good shoot. But my heart's not in it. Puma, my best hound's gone mad. Oh, what happened? I don't know. He's the best hound I've ever had. It cost me 550 pound, you know. Oh, Tom, you were overcharged. That was far too much. Anne. It's a bargain. Puma's a wonderful hound. Best in the county. Well, Father paid half that for our Benny, and he's twice the dog that Puma is. Twice the dog? You're forgetting Benny's lower jaw's too short. He's got good wind, but poor bite. <laughs> That's the first I've heard of it. Anyway, Puma hasn't got a pedigree. His breed is indefinable. Did you say indefinable? <gasps> I'm afraid I can't go on with this. Mm, the more a sportsman argues, the less he knows about shooting. What's up this time? Is your hound's lower jaw too short? Yes or no? You know full well there's no better dog in the county. What kind of sportsman are you? You'd be better off staying home in bed with a wet nurse. Mm. I don't think he's a sportsman at all. He's just out for a fight. And you're just out to spread rumours, scandalmonger. Look at this dead lost. I want rid of him. Dead loss? He is dead. What? Get the 
doctor. My God, what have we done? Are you feeling better now? Hello. I came as fast as I could. Where's the patient? Here, Fiona. Here, lad. Oh, please, he's out. He's terrific. Don't you think? Oh, yes. Mm. 